I'm Christina with Green Acres Nursery and Supply and today I am going to show you how to build a beautiful water-wise landscape. So the first thing you're probably wondering is what defines a water-wise plant? Well, water-wise plant basically just means plants that show little to no stress underneath low water conditions. So I created a nice array here, a nice diversity of different plants that have evolved to tolerate lower water or drought conditions. And when people say drought, water-wise, because that's kind of been a buzzword lately, and a lot of counties start to put out more regulations about how much water you can use and whatnot, which is exactly what they should be doing, but it doesn't mean that you stop gardening or you stop planting or that you stop having a beautiful landscape. It just means that you shift to a different type. So I have here, different plants, some of my favorites personally, that fall under those conditions and are considered water-wise. The first ones I want to show you here are some of these colorful purple plants. We have some verbenas. These are more low-growing plants and this scavola. Oh my gosh, I had this scavola planted here. This is, I'm in Elk Grove right now, in full sun, which is Sacramento County and it just thrived under low water conditions. This plant did beautifully. Um, so yeah, that once it's established, and that word can mean a lot of different things, but it really just means established a year in the ground with the roots really grown in and that it took moderate water for it to get to that point. And now it's established, so it means that now it can tolerate less water. So it's really important that people know that when they're establishing water wise garden that it does take a little bit more water. Some other ones we have here is classic yarrow. Yarrow is actually native to California. Um, most of the hybrids that we carry are just hybridized off the native that we have here. This is a beautiful moonshine. A lot of people choose it for its brilliant yellow color. That's a really popular one. Another one is lantana. This is a water white superstar. It does so well. It definitely takes low water. Um, it also has beautiful colors you can choose from, pinks, oranges, and reds, and it attracts butterflies. We sell so many beautiful agaves. Um, this one's so beautiful because it has a really nice striping here, but these are very water-wise. I definitely would incorporate agaves if you're trying to create a water-wise landscape. And then we have, similar to agaves, we have this yucca here that does really well and it flowers a couple times a year. It has this beautiful flower that attracts hummingbirds, if you're into that. And of course you have your more classic gardening plants like this geranium. Um, after a while, these plants will just be so hardy. Also cold hardy, which is nice too. Um, for the, in this area specifically, as you get higher in the mountains, it starts to suffer a bit more, but this one is a really hardy plant. Also doesn't take very much water after a while. I have this beautiful euphorbia here. There's a lot of different types of euphorbia. This one's Ascot Rainbow, and has this nice, gorgeous kind of chartreuse color coming through here. Um, for people who don't like a lot of bees around their garden, some people are allergic to them or don't want too many of them because they have small ones or whatnot, these ones don't tend to attract as many bees. So this one is definitely a great one. And then, we have other hardy plants like this echinacea here, really popular summer bloomer, takes full sun. Practices matter so much. When you're establishing a water-wise garden, you wanna make sure that you're watering deeply, which means making sure the water goes all the way deep down into the soil to encourage your roots to grow deep, deep, all the way down into the ground. Because that's what helps create a more drought tolerant plant too, is your water practices. Um, your irrigation, you know, you have to make sure that's up to date. What it really comes down to is um, you can still have a beautiful garden that's water-wise and you shouldn't let that stop you from having something beautiful at your house. <music>